This is the Google Pixel 4, the phone that, let's be honest, looked absolutely stunning from the back but kinda meh from the front. And remember when Google boldly claimed, wide angle is great but telephoto is more useful. Bruh. Let's just pretend that never happened, because today we've got bigger things to talk about. Software. Software is what truly makes Google's phones special. But here's the problem, the Pixel 4 and 4 XL, they haven't seen an official update in ages. So are they obsolete? Well, Google might want you to believe that, but the reality? Not quite. Sure, the Pixel 4's hardware is a few years old, but it's still got plenty of life left in it. And today, we're proving that by installing the Pixel Builds ROM, bringing the Pixel 4 straight into 2025 with all the latest AI-powered features. We're talking circle to search, AI wallpapers, battery optimizations, customizations, and more. I've put everything to the test. Camera, haptics, sound, battery life, performance, and it all runs smoothly. The only catch? Face unlock works, but it won't be making use of the built-in radar sensor. And by the way, this is based on Android 14. But if you want Android 15, now's the perfect time to hit that subscribe button because that video is dropping very soon. All right, here's everything you'll need to get started. The Pixel Builds ROM file and recovery boot.img file. I have provided links for these in the description below. Secondly, the SDK platform tools for Windows or Mac. And of course, Google USB drivers, those are linked below too. Now let's get set up. First, extract the SDK platform tools on your PC. Then, rename the ROM file to something short, like pixel builds, to keep things simple. Now, move both the ROM file and boot.img into the platform tools folder. Now, open device manager. Find your Android device in the list. Right click it, choose update driver, then select browse my computer for drivers. Navigate to the folder where you extracted the USB drivers, hit next, and let Windows do its thing. And make sure your phone is charged to at least 30%. And please back up your data. Finally, update your device to the latest available software version. Now is the time to enable developer mode. Head over to settings, then about phone, then software information, and then tap build number seven times until you see developer mode enabled. Now go back to the main menu and find developer settings in the system. In the developer settings, turn on OEM unlocking and USB debugging. After that, plug your phone into your PC using a USB cable. When the USB debugging pop-up appears, hit allow. On your PC, open the platform tools folder. Right click inside the folder and select open in terminal. Now type ADB devices and hit enter. If you see your phone, then perfect, you're all set. Now let's unlock the bootloader. For that matter, type ADB reboot bootloader. Your phone will reboot into bootloader mode. Here you'll see that your phone is locked. To unlock it, type fastboot flashing unlock. On your phone, use the volume keys to highlight unlock the bootloader, then hit the power button to confirm. And just like that, your bootloader is unlocked. Now to flash the recovery, type fast boot devices. If your phone shows up, you're good to go. Next, type fast boot flash boot boot.img. This will install pixel built recovery. Once it's done, use the volume keys to scroll to recovery mode, then hit the power button. And just like that, you're in recovery mode. Let's move on. Scroll down and select install from ADB. Now on your PC, type ADB sideload pixel builds dot zip and just like that, the installation begins. It'll take a few minutes, so sit tight, relax and just watch the magic happen. Once it's done, you will see a message prompting you to reboot. Go ahead, press that power button and boot into the system. And there you have it your Pixel 4 Reborn with a fresh modern OS. If you're giving this a shot, drop a comment below. Let me know how it's working for you. And hey, I'll see you in the next one.